Hey guys, what's up? Got some more slashy, slashy bottle cutting videos for you today. And uh, I'm going to be cutting some stuff with my new Azula. New cord wrapped handle. I think it looks pretty awesome. It's a pretty sexy wrap there. <laughs> I learned how to do this by the Lazy Spoiled Kitty. He had an awesome tutorial on how to do that. So. I got the... Uh, the viewer's name who requested a bottle cutting video, but uh, I will annotate it into this video. Alright, the blade's pretty pretty short compared to the bottle, so I try to get as good a cut as possible. Man, it's hot out today. <laughs> Maybe some of this water will spray me. Alright, here goes nothing. Wow! That was a cleaner cut than I thought. <laughs> it's one of the cleaner cuts I've gotten. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Excellent. Being a uh, high carbon steel blade, you'll want to really clean that off. I'm going to take it inside and put a thin layer of oil on it. Even though it's got that incredible coating, it's still not completely rust proof. And the edge can still develop some rust spots as well. Got another bottle here. Let's see, should I cut it with the Izula? Or should I try out my, my uh, tie light that I just resharpened? I'll give the little Izula a little rest. Let's see how the tie light cuts. Say it sharpened up pretty nicely, huh? <laughs> this blade is, of course, going to go all the way through the bottle because it's a little longer than the uh, than the Izulas. Let me clean this blade off. Since it is a uh, rust prone steel as well. <laughs> Very nice. Two pieces. There's the tie light. Yeah, Zula. Definitely sharp enough. The only thing lacking was the uh, the blade length. So yeah. Azula bottle cutting slash tie light bottle cutting. I got a little water on the camera here. Video review of this coming up very soon. And uh, maybe a wrap tutorial. I don't know yet. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sherman 614. Peace!